Hi guys, Dylan Short here with Three Irons Horse and Cattle Co. So today we got Sky back out here, and we're gonna talk about working on getting them gentle about their feet being picked up and things like that. Like I said before, she's six-year-old filly who really hadn't had a whole lot of handling. She got saddle broke as a three-year-old, and then kind of turned out after that. So we're kind of tuning her back up. Um, I don't know how many times she's really had her feet done or anything like that, but uh, she's gonna be a good example of what I do to. If I'm not real sure about them with their feet, uh, typically I start with my flag and I get them real gentle about this flag out here away from them, touching that feet where I'm not in that little strike zone where I could get kicked or hurt in any kind of way and pawed. So I just, I get them real gentle about this stuff here, touching their feet, going up and down it. Doesn't bug them any before I really start running my hands down there. As you can see here, about the third time I've done this with her, and she hadn't had really had a problem with it. But after that, if they're real good about this flag here, touching their feet, I can kind of toss it away. I kind of make a progression if I'm still not quite sure, and I still don't want to put my whole body down there in that little strike zone. I get them good about this lead rope going back behind their feet here, and you can do this with a rope as well. Um, I usually just get them gentle with this lead rope because it's just easier. And I'll take it, wrap it below that foot, drop it below that pastern, and I'll practice picking it up there. She's really good. I'll practice picking it up here, right like that, right there, with this lead rope here. Then I can slide my hand down here if I want to and pick it up and hold it. And if she's doing real good, I can then just take my lead rope back out, just like that right there. The trick here, like how I have her, you don't want her to paw and get that front foot over this lead rope. It might cause a wreck. So be, be be pretty aware of that right there. She did real good with that. So on the hinds, I can do the same thing. So when I go to do the back feet, it's kind of the same thing. I've gotten her gentle about this rope going on all down her butt here. And I can wrap it here around this hawk and drop it below that fetlock. And I can pick it up and bring it to me. Slide my hand down there, take hold of it. The biggest deal here is be aware of her head. And if you can, ideally, have a little bend to it. That way, if something happens or the horse gets spooked or scared, their hind end goes away from you and not towards you. And it kind of saves you from a wreck there. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you one more time. I like to take this lead rope right here around the hawk. Drop it below that fetlock. Just go ahead and pull it up in the air. Be aware of where her head is. Slide my hand down here. I can take a hold of it now and take my lead rope off of it. Another thing I like to do for my farrier's sake, I like to pick them up a little bit, tap on them, get them used to that. It kind of helps my farrier out so he didn't get kicked or something. And then you just slowly build on that over time. You know, lift it up higher. Put it more of an awkward positions, tap on it more, and before you know it, those horses really don't mind their feet being handled at all. 